This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Tired of missing out on figures or paying scalper prices at toy stores? Then go ahead and visit DJC Collectibles, my sponsor. You can get 10% on anything Transformers, accumulate points, and sometimes score an exclusive figure you thought you'd miss forever. Head over to DJC Collectibles and start saving today. Hi everyone, my name is Raziel Kane and I'm back with another tour review and today... Legacy, United, Star Raiders, these three guys. And I bought this set for this guy here, Calcitron, which he's hiding, uh, not the other way, he's hiding in here. That's the only one I want out of this set. But then my six-year-old neg negotiated with his mom so that this could be his uh, birthday gift, which is in October. And I have no clue when this is coming out because I have videos scheduled until after TFCon. So, uh, yeah, so he's got to get that and that little thing, which is Night, Night Strike, Night, what's his name? Yeah, Night Strike. So, two Star Raider and one Infernak Universe. Like, he's not even a Star Raider Calcitron. He's Infernak Universe Calcitron, which I want all the Infernak Universe figure. I'm, I was missing this one. I bought it with the intention of selling this, but then I was with my kid, so discussion ensued. So anyway, nice product shots in the back, transformation, all the steps. So yeah, looking forward to reviewing this guy. Uh, I think he's a retool of something. I, I know nothing about Thundertron, so don't really care. And then this guy, well, you know, it's red, bad, but white. So there you go. Uh, Legacy United, anyway, all the fun stuff. But I'm gonna do this, but before I do it, I just wanna remind everyone to check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm very proud of. And also check out my interview playlist if you wanna hear stories from the voice actors themselves. And now let's roll the intro. Okay, this is the whole set unboxed and this is my favorite figure. This is why I bought this, but this looks really nice. That's gonna be a great gift for my kid. And this, I like him. He looks like a little flying monkey more than a bat. Uh, the head sculpt, I don't know. To me that's more, and maybe that's what he is. I don't know the story of these two. I don't know the story of any of these guys. I just love this mold. The box, you know, quite nice, standard, legacy stuff. You know, with nice product shot in the back and then on the side here you have all the wonderful artwork of Legacy United. You have the instructions, it's gonna move stuff a little bit out of the way. And it's you have all three of them. So if you wanna buy this set and just keep one, uh, whoever and you wanna keep your instruction, then whoever gets uh, the extra figure won't get the instruction or you can keep yours. But anyway, it's a huge poster with everything you need to transform. I'm guessing he's the easier one to transform, you know? Night Strike. Okay, maybe we can move a little closer now that the box is out. Okay, so you have Night Strike. Love the head sculpt. The little Star Raider insignia, that's really cool. Uh, but yeah, the head sculpt really does remind me more of a monkey rather than a bat. So I think that's really nice. But he has nice colors on the inside. Uh, it's a, it's the same old as Radbat. But the colors are quite nice. Can't I can't complain. That's a nice repaint. Uh, and then you still have you know the pin in the back for uh, if you want to pin it on a wrist or something. So yeah, it looks really good. Let's put it on the side here. Uh, accessory, you have this nice sword. So that's your actual pin to plug it in his hand. And if you notice here, the pinhole doesn't go all the way out. Like the, the hand is full. That's weird, you know, but I guess it's to prevent that people try to wedge the other part of the sword in. It looks really good with Thundertron. You also have the extra foot, which it's really nicely painted with that toe here. It's like it's gray plastic and blue plastic, but the little nice touch of the, the you know paint here 
looks really good hollow underneath I'm guessing the other one is too and you really have to put it like deep like you have to wedge it or else uh, he's unbalanced I think he looks better that way but for people who actually know who this guy is probably they want to keep him in peg leg mode but he looks really good nice colors I don't have I don't have the other one to compare but you know it's uh, I think this I don't know it's really good or maybe it's because I'm colorblind I just see different things than you guys but I like the gold and the kind of I don't know bluish purple that's it's it's kind of a like I don't know it's not really deep it's like a light blue I don't know I really like it like the metal beard looks good with the you know you have the hair in the back here looks really nice um, the, the hook um, does that move no nope, that's oh yeah well no yeah it's on mushroom peg but I wouldn't force it uh, but no I like I like the color of this guy and this wow I'm actually impressed I have the other two uh, you'll see in the comparison I love the colors of this guy fantastically done it's you know here it's kind of painted shaded this looks more like I don't know if it's colored plastic or paint. It's really well done. There's a nice shine to it, like it's reflective. Uh, I'd be surprised if this was all paint, but man, looks good. A bit empty here, but you know, it's not a waffle. So that's always a plus. And then you have the shield or the canopy or, you know, that you can put in the back. And his weapon looks exactly like the one you had with Magnus. So this is a strength repaint, except the face. Uh, this is a retool or a new head sculpt. It reminds me a bit of the giant Myrlurks, Myrlurks. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of that for some reason. But he has like of a crabish face, you know. So, but I like it. So there you go. These are the three guys in uh, robot mode. I'm just gonna do articulation uh, quickly with this guy. You have wings go up and down. You have a uh, movement here, the feet move, the head moves, that's about it. Transforms into a cassette. I'm not going to do transformation because this is a long one. This guy uh, without the sword, uh, let's maybe move the camera a little upward for this one. So you have like a look up a little bit, you have a look down, you have beautiful eyes, like one patch and one eye. I'm trying to get good lights into it, but yeah, it's kind of hard, but yeah. It's tiny though. So you have a, well, you can't really, you could have a rotation, but everything gets in the way, you know. Uh, shoulders are pretty big uh, and they prevent you. There's no way around it. They prevent you from getting your Ferris wheel, but you could do it. Otherwise you can do, you know, back and forth. You do have a, a nice uh, 90 degree bend. You have a tight rotation at the wrist. You have horrible waffles right here. Uh, and then, well, you don't have any movement on the hands uh, either side. and But you still have like those awful things there. Uh, and then in the back, look at that waffle, man. That's, uh, that's pretty bad. So, all right, so terrible waffle. Uh, anyway, uh, if you move this here, can you get a Johnny Cage? Uh, not without moving this here and this like that and you kind of can get it well you do get it so not bad uh, you have a kick forward kick back knee bend oh beautiful knee bend and then you have a well okay I'll do the other foot because this one is not with the peg so you have a tilt like this and then you have a nice back and forth well, there you go you have anything else rotate well you do rotate the leg here with the mushroom peg he feels a little cheap i'll be honest like the plastic quality doesn't seem to be quite there feels more like a transformers earth spark type plastic or maybe cyberverse i'm not seeing the same quality as we have had with other legacy figures not feeling it but I could be wrong but he still is nicely painted all the details all the gold 
uh, you know, uh, colored, uh, you know, gray plastic, white. Uh, the paint is, you know, like this is colored plastic, but this is painted. This is white plastic with paint here and here. Um, you know, it's all the gold is painted, uh, but then some of the blue is, is colored plastic and the other is uh, painted, mostly the details. So yeah, now right, let's move on the side. And now my favorite, this guy. And this guy, you've seen my other videos. So the head will fully rotate. No, nope, this one doesn't. Well, you could force it, I won't. You have your full uh, Ferris wheel, uh, the arm extend like this, beautiful 90 degree bend. The hand fully rotates and goes uh, like this, you know, 90 degree at the hand. You have a full, oh, does he have a waist? This guy here does not have a merry-go-round, while this one, no problem merry-go-round. You can do, again, a very nice Johnny Cage, and then you have a nice knee bend, uh, kick forward, kick back, and then you have a, and it's kind of hard to do, but you have a tilt, uh, well a rocker, and then you have a, well yeah, kind of a back and forth like this, so there you go. Not going to do transformation, but it's a good set. I mean, for the price of a core class of the Lux and a Voyager, for the price of a leader, I think it's okay. But I wish he had better plastic. So, all right, let's do some quick comparison just for fun. All right, let's do the little uh, rat thing with the actual rat bat, but let's compare head sculpt. It's different. Rat bat is a bat. And this one is a retool, and he looks more like a monkey. I don't know why they didn't do like a monkey robot instead. But anyway, core class comparison done. Now you have Thundertron with a similar mold. This one definitely bigger and better plastic quality on this one. And Calcitron with Nucleus. They both, you know, he's a retool of Magnus uh, with uh, different head sculpt and guns and everything. Uh, he's a straight repaint. I think they look great together. I'll give you a nice money shot at the end. And just before I forget, you can plug the rat thing, the bat thing in the shoulder. Either side is fine. Works well. You just have to hold the feet down or else they're going to push upward when you try to press them in. But uh, final look at the set, the Star Raiders, before the alt mode. And here we are back from transformation. Uh, this is standard, you know, uh, same thing as the other two. Uh, look not too complicated looks good. I have to say that he's a bit looser than the other like just a bit looser uh, You know like here. It's a little loose uh, But no big deal. I mean, you know, it's not a deal breaker love the colors, you know nice uh, windows uh, nice rocks all the gray in front and You have like all the different color. I probably would have matched this and this so that they flow well with the, the, the front wheel. Might have been a good idea to do that, but you know. And uh, that's the underneath. The head is nicely hidden. Big bit waffly for the head. Um, yeah, rolls fine from what I can gather. Yeah, no problem. Oh so, yeah, and then there's, you know, the weapon here. So, looks good. Uh, this guy, it's like I said. We've seen this a thousand times in Siege. Uh, it's not any different except the head sculpt, and that's pretty much it. Uh, nice color, you know, uh, kind of shattered glass sound wave colors, you know. And then you have Thundertron and transformation. Like if you don't, I mean the legs, you just kind of wiggle them around and place them, and eventually it's going to give you a hind leg. Uh, this you can put pretty much any way you want, hide whatever piece you uh, prefer. Uh, you have a spot here for the um, the weapon, but you know if you want to display them without it, uh, looks good. Cleans up well from the top. In the back, you have those awful waffles. Underneath, looks like crap. Uh, if you don't line up everything here, you're gonna have a uh, trouble because you have to make sure the hands, like there's a connection. Where is it? Like this white piece here. 
Uh, there's a little peg to go in the, inside the hand here. So you have to line that up perfectly so that this piece here will clip uh, underneath the hands, like there's the two ports. Uh, and then it's gonna hold tight. And then after that, you have the two clips for the uh, legs here that's gonna clip here to hold everything together. And then you, you know close that. So he looks really good. Um, he reminds me of, you know, for my experience in Transformers, the Cyberverse, the wolf thing that was guarding some Crystal City uh, where Bumblebee was looking for, like, part of uh, Windblade's uh, spark. So, I don't remember his name, but he was, like, a noble knight. Uh, kind of reminds me of that. He looks good, nice colors and everything. Uh, limited articulation, because the legs will only move this way and then the hand the paws will only move this way the head doesn't move at all you have a little movement here at the mouth uh but then in the back you have like a full set of articulation for feet legs and everything so yeah he looks i mean it it, it looks like a cybertronian wolf you know it's pretty much all i'm gonna put the weapon back but that's all i can say i mean he, he does look like a cybernetic wolf so there we go. Uh, I do love the colors though. They, I can't deny it's a nicely painted figure. Transformation was fun. Just not going to do that on camera ever. So there you go. That's uh, these guys in uh, alt mode. And now for maybe a quick uh, size comparison. What do I have on hand? Here they are with uh, alternator Sunstreaker. And you know, um, big difference in size, but I mean, gives you an idea. And here he is with leader size Grimlock. So, you know, leader to Voyager, that uh, scales well. Leader to Deluxe, that scales well. And of course, core class in the back. All right, let's uh, put this guy back in uh, robot mode for the money shot. Well, there you go, guys. That's my Infernac universe with two other blokes. Just kidding. He's, he's a good figure. I mean, if you have either this version or the regular Legacy United version, who's painted differently, it's, it's a nice figure. It's, I can't deny it. It's good. Uh, I just don't have attachment to it, so it's gonna go to my kid. I uh, love this guy, love this guy, tolerate this guy. I mean, it's, you know, it's not the greatest mold, but it's, you know, it's fine. Love this guy, love this guy, love her. So, yeah, I'm really happy with this Infernac Universe uh, collection. I'm missing the repaint and slight retool of this guy. Um, I can't remember his name right now, but can't wait to have him. Uh, the only thing I would have liked a Voyager and a leader, you know, so four deluxes and two core classes, I could have went for a, at least a, a Voyager size. That would have been really cool. Just, a, you know, a different mold, uh, different, uh, you know, maybe not a truck, maybe, I don't know, a plane or uh, with rocks. Yeah, just give us a, a seeker mold with rocks. That, I'd be okay with that. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you did, please like, subscribe, hit the bell. Also leave a comment, love reading those, keep coming back, I have more on the way, and remember, nothing in life gives a right to be an asshole. Take care.